This is Jordan Wills showing off a new project I've been working on, the binary wristwatch. So we have two rows of LEDs here. This top one tells us the hours or months. This cell tells us the minutes, days, or seconds. Then this guy signifies that we're looking at the time as opposed to the date or the seconds. Then we got a couple push buttons. So we also have on the silk screen some numbers to tell us that this is the ones column 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. So right now it's uh, 8 plus 2 is 10 for the hour, then 32, 2, and 1 makes 35, so it's 1035. If we hit this guy, we switch to looking at the date, so it's the 3 in the months, 1 in the days, so that's March 1st. Hit him one more time, and we're looking at the seconds, which I happened to hit right as it rolled over from 59 to 0. Um, hit it again, you'll notice that each time the display updates for everything but the seconds, it kind of shifts the values in from the left. You can hit this button and that displays that, or that toggles that if you just want it to uh, blink the new numbers on, as opposed to shifting them in. If we wanted to change the time, press and hold him. We highlight the field we're looking at, so right now I can click him to update the minutes. Hit him again, we move on to hours. If we switch to 12 p.m., uh, this LED turns on, which signifies p.m. versus a.m. So now we're looking at the time, or the uh, days, months, and now we're back to displaying stuff. Press and hold him, we go to sleep. And uh, that's pretty much it for functionality. I've also got a header up here to connect a programming cable, which doubles as a very fun clasp. So I could plug that guy into my programmer to update the firmware on the microcontroller, and then when I'm done, just put it right back on the wrist, and I'm good to go. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the video.